WordPress SEO Overview It is far better to create a SEO roadmap before you begin your web design process. In short, here are the steps you will need to take for your new sites. There are three steps that you have to do before you do anything else. First of all, you'll have to identify your target market. You need to prioritize the keywords and finally create the content for those keywords. Do you know the term KISS? It stands for Keep It Simple Assignment, which is what you have to do for your SEO keyword research. Most single word keywords are hugely popular and you won't have a chance in ranking for these. The idea behind identifying your market is to find two to three word keywords in a viable market and go with that. The only way to prioritize keywords is to know a few metrics. Among those few metrics are daily and monthly traffic, a broad search value, a cost per click value, and so on and so forth. These are highly technical terms and are outside the scope of this video. However, tools like Market Samurai and SE Cockpit will give you a better idea of how to make use of this data. As always, if Google is your search engine of choice, you can always analyze data using the Google Keyword Tool. Once you have determined which the most successful keywords for your business slash campaign will be, then go ahead and create content focusing on those keywords. If you have selected five different keywords, ensure that you create five different pages of content, each targeting that particular keyword. If your website or domain is new, ensure that you can quickly get two to three pieces of content each week. Search engines tend to drop sites that do not update with timely relevant content. And finally, ensure that your pages are keyword optimized and have relevant links both internal and external to sources of information. The idea is to keep your site free of distraction and ensure that you provide key information at the beginning to entice the visitor to keep reading.